Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam ya shalom. Kuhuloyim la, yahawa bashim ya washai, bahashim, hahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. And so, Hanan Nawaf is coming at you, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just want to touch on this pastor that, um, you know, was talking to his congregants about long hair. And, you know, Twitter went wild. Of course, you know, you live you live in the Americas, man. Esau Edom. It's kingdom. It, it, it teaches men to be feminine. You see what I'm saying? Here you go. You got dudes out here styling their hair, throwing their hair around, throwing it out of their face like they, they, they some damn women. <laughs> but, you know, these, these particular congregants, hey, they're supposed to believe in the Bible. But these Christians... Are, are not what they say they are, man. They're some of the biggest fucking hypocrites on the planet, man. But let's get some of this here real quick. It says, Pastor says it ain't God for men to have long hair. Twitter convinced churches in a in its flop era. Well, the church is in its flop era. And, and you know how you can tell the church is in, in its flop era in one area? It's because the men in the church are, are super effeminate. The, the women are extra hard. It's like a role reversal in that place, man. The women are hard as hell and the men are soft as hell. And it's in this flop anyway, because why? That white Jesus crap is out of style, man. If you believe in white Jesus in these last days, 2022 going into 2023, then, 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 <laughs> you know, the Lord is not dealing with you, man. Like for real. Okay. But I wanted to, let's get this video. We'll get this video. And I just wanted to get into some of the comments because the comments is what you know, kind of threw me like, you know, let, let me do just do a lesson on this by the spirit, because this is a common thing. And the apostle Tahar, he'd been talking about this for the past few years with these, you know, these these Israelites, they out on the highways and byways. Motherfuckers got hair hanging on their back, you know, and one of the brothers, um, Elder Malcolm out in Chicago, you know, he's into like combat fighting and things of those nature. And, you know, and it makes sense. He said, and, and, I, and I, I can witness to that, to this. He said that, you know what I'm saying? A man having long hair and you get into a fight. If somebody get a handful of your hair, it's over with. It's hard. To, it's hard for you to come out of that. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's the reason why women, when they fight, man, they kind of go for the, the weed. They go. Well, I'll say weed because there ain't no hair no more. You know, they, they go for the weed. That's why you generally you see women fighting with damn hair all over the place because women go for the hair. That's the that's one of the main things. It, it's it, it's just a a, a a combat thing to do. And before I came into the truth, way way back in the days, I had a fight with a guy that had some long dreads. And man, I was just ragdolling the dude. He couldn't handle me. <laughs> I ain't even have to even go that hard. You know what I'm saying? Because all I had was two hands full of his hair, and I'm just tossing him with his hair, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Well, let's get some of this real quick. y'all don't believe because you can't tie it up unless it's too long and the bible says it's a shame for a man <laughs> now y'all act like stuff that, that i don't say that the bible say it's a shame look at somebody say the bible say now see that's the problem we're so easily offended the bible says it's a shame for a man they have long hair and you can tie your hair up you got your hair long enough as a man you can tie it up twist it and put it in a bun that ain't gone look at somebody and say that's worldliness but they on the they on the drums and then don't let the bun come loose and then they <laughs> I want everybody to see they have they got the pull they on drums and they on the organ and they just playing it <laughs> Ooh, they have that over their ear. You was a damn. How many of men don't do stuff like that? Okay. Well, now here you go. Let's get into the comments now. It says the crowd can be seen, you know, giving mixed reactions. He downplays the naysayers instead of reading the room. Nah. You, he, went, he went the right way. Fuck reading the room. Fuck reading the room. You're supposed to be feeding the flock. You're supposed to be warning the flock, man. 
Let their asses get up and walk outside and get in their car and, and smoke on that, that other half of the blunt that they, they drove up smoking before they got there. <laughs> let them let them let 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 them go ahead and jump into the car and, and blow the rest of that Newport cigarette that they put out before they walked in, man. But anyway, the Christian church is finished anyway. It's not gonna make no difference. Cause I'm looking at the guy and you know, I'm not sure. Maybe he had a a five o'clock shadow or something like that. But if he didn't have a beard, he's going off too. Cause he didn't really appear to have a beard, but I couldn't see him that close. So, you know, no, I'm not going to bear no false witness, but anyway, he's going off too. If he doesn't have a beard, you can't be a hypocrite. You can't tell these dudes, Hey, you can't have long hair. And if your ass running around with no beard, you, you know, you running around here, baby face, man. Okay. Now let's get to these comments though. It says this right here. The first one says, let me just say that the divine does not care if your hair is long or short. Only man's foolish religion are concerned with such trivial matters. Live your life how you want to live it, how you want to live it. It was it's what Jesus did. See, this is that live your only live the way you want to live. The Lord. See, this is what you get from white Jesus Christianity. The Lord loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. You can live how you want to live. The Lord know your heart. This is what Christianity teaches you. You see? Let me grab a quick scripture real quick. I'm going to come back to this judges because um, some guy, you know, they go. he goes into, um, what about Samson? Like, nigga, you ain't no Nazarite. <laughs> Don't even know what, what, what was even going on with Samson, man. But anyway, let me get this um, Psalms 5 and 5. It's a lucky because I'm, I'm getting excited. Psalms 5 and 5, it reads, The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So all that, oh, the Lord, he loves you. He loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. Hey, look, that's a complete damn lie. And, and that's why you see so many people out here getting judged. And, they, and, and these people have no idea. They have no idea. That's why you'll see these people get on the news and get to talking about how innocent my baby was. You know, full well that nigga was a demon before he got shot up. <laughs> well, let's get some more. Next one, number two, we really are going back in time to the, the 60s. North Carolina uh, pastor says men shouldn't have hair, long hair, and criticizes men who tie their hair into a bun. Man, that shit is effeminate as hell, man. Number three, it says, seen a video where a pastor said real men don't, ha don't have long hair, but didn't Samson and Jesus? Where in the scriptures have you heard about Jesus? Or the Lord, our Lord and Savior, which the world eagerly calls Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai. Where in the scriptures have you ever heard of him having long hair? You know where they get that from? Let me get this real quick. This is where that comes from. Because they believe that the Lord is a white man. And this is the picture that they've always been shown. Salakia. This is, this, this, this is who they believe is the Lord right here. I normally keep that picture up here. Uh, where is it at here? Yeah, let me go in here real quick. Oh, no, no, that's not it. I normally keep that photo up here, too. Good old sweet white baby Jesus. This is who they're thinking about. But this is who they're thinking about right here. This weirdo. This effeminate looking um woman. Matter of fact, let me just, let me open up another another window to show you. This, this is who, and you know the picture. Everybody done seen it. All you got to do is put in Jesus and it's all, it's all so-called white people. Going to see a bunch of um, white images. This, this is who he's thinking about right here. He's thinking about this picture right here that, is, that was, you know, hung up in his grandmama's, um, over, the grandma, over his grandmama's chimney or some shit. This is who they, they believe the Lord is. Because you're not going to find nowhere in the scripture where it talks about Jesus had long hair. See, so, so these are people that don't actually read the scriptures. Now, he mentioned Samson, right? Let me go back to that because I pulled that up. Let's go to Judges. Everybody wasn't running around with no long hair, man. If you had a Nazarite vow, then that was different, man. And this is the birth of Samson. Um... Let me start at, uh, I want to, we start at verse two. And there was a certain man of Zarah, 
of the family of the Danites, whose name was Manaoa, and his wife was barren and bare not. And the angel of the Yahweh appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold, now thou art barren, and bearest not, and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Now therefore be, beware, I pray thee, and drink not wine nor strong drink, and eat not anything unclean. For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head, for the child shall be a Nazarite, right? Unto Yahweh from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines, right? Okay, so now, let's go off into this word Nazarite real quick. And this goes off into something different, man. Like, you, you got to really understand what a Nazarite was into, so to speak, you know. And once they, they, they completed their vow, so to speak, now, Samson was different. He, he was supposed to be from the womb until basically him passing away. But, you know, of course, he gave up the secret to his wicked-ass wife, you know. And, and, because, uh, let me see. It's a phrase, it shall be a, a Nazarite. Let's get the sound. Strong's age fifty one thirty nine. Nazir. Nazir. Okay, so Nazir, H fifty one thirty nine. Let's see, and it goes off into consecrated or devoted. Let's go down here. It says um, separate. Let's see, H fifty one forty four is the um. Original etymology of it to dedicate, consecrate, separate, okay, to keep sacredly separate. See, to keep sacredly separate that because the Lord was about to deliver Israel with um Samson, man. You see what I'm saying? And, and a Nazarite is totally different, and he had locks, he didn't have he had a he didn't have dreadlocks. That's not our custom. He had like seven big locks, man. Like how you would have cornrows, so to speak. But anyway, when you get this word Nazarite, let me let me go in here. Let's see how many times it's actually in the scriptures. And none of these niggas is running around here with no buns on the top of their goddamn head, and their hair hanging down to their ass cheeks is Nazarites, and they're and they're here to save the children of Israel, man. They're not Samsons, so cut it out, man. <laughs> cut it out. Nine times it's in the scriptures, right? It's in the scriptures nine times. But uh, um, if I'm not mistaken, let me um Paul he had the Nazarite vow too as well. Well, he cut his hair in the New Testament. But you're not gonna see that very often in the scriptures. And he actually now let's go back off into this though, because there's more. It says um number four. Just viewed a video on TikTok and the pastor says men with long hair are the devil. Now, I ain't saying all that. The scriptures doesn't say that. You know what I'm saying? It says it's in the Bible. Nicky never gave a scripture, though. Wait, how long was Samson's hair? See, there, there you go. But what, 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 They're not going to be able to tell you what, what Nazarite is. What, what was his purpose of having the long hair? It, 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 it was a command from the Lord. You see what I'm saying? This wasn't like no... No regular thing, man, for, for men to have long hair. And, 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 and the men that's doing that these days, they just effeminate as hell. It's not only that they have long hair. It's that they, 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 you can just tell. You can just see it on them. Like, they're just real effeminate, man. Just real effeminate, man. This one says, first it was Beyonce's song. Now they're talking about the Bible long hair and, and hair bun. It's shameful, like... Come on, pastor, really? See? But this is what this is what they want, man. Says, hmm, Samson, Samson's strength was in his long hair. W w where are you niggas at? Y'all niggas, in, is, where are you at um, wrestling with lions and, and, and <laughs> ripping off um, the gates of, the uh, 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 bars of gates, man, off, off of walls, man? Where, where, where's your strength with your bun? Motherfucker don't even know how to change a car tire, man. Can't, don't even know how to put jumper cables on a battery, man. Like, simple manly stuff, man. You see what I'm saying? Can't even can't even nail a board up, man. 
<laughs> it says Jesus was definitely with the bundles. Where at? What, what scripture is that? So, Pastor, where does it, it speak against men having long hair? Okay, well, let's get it. Because obviously, none of them will use Google. They could have easily just pulled the scripture up. Like, where in the Bible does it say um, it's a shame for men to have long hair? Matter of fact, let me let me do it that way. Let me just do it. Let's do it that way. And that's all they had to do was ask. I'm sure something going to pop up, right? And there you go. Takes you straight to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 11 and 14. Let's go to it. Which we already knew anyway. 1 Corinthians 11 and 14. That's all they had to do was Google it. And nowhere in the scriptures is it going to tell you that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, had no long ass hair. Yep, already had it highlighted. 1 Corinthians 11 and 14. Do of not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? Now, why didn't they Google that? You see what I'm saying? That's the scripture right there. <laughs> Since you're asking, that's the scripture, buddy. Okay, number seven. Truly, the church is a is, is in its flop era. It is, though. I don't know, but this pastor just seems envious of the men with long hair because how does this edify anyone what do you mean it's edifying because this is what the scripture says you see what i'm saying the lord made it makes a distinction between the men and the women there's there's a such thing of, of, of your alphabet people and your lgb and whatever the hell else alphabet that they got onto the name attaching it god got the, the young men out here Got them out here basically effeminate as hell being women and got these women out here being hard as hell being dudes. And that goes against the nature of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the way that he created things, man. And it's that simple. It's that simple, man. This person, um, number eight, it says, so according to him, Jesus wasn't a man. Every conceivable image of Jesus, he has ridiculously long hair. But what image did we just show you? Let's go back to it. This is why they believe this. They believe in this guy. This is who they, when they think of Jesus, they think of this guy. See, looking like a woman, a bearded lady. See? Now, they're not going to go into the scriptures and read what Yahweh actually looked like. It says he had hair, hair like wool, but it doesn't give you no length on it. And the Lord is not going against the scriptures, man. The Lord is not going against what the scriptures say. So, of course, we know that he didn't have no long ass hair, man. But like I said, and he was a dark, melanated man. But that picture of sweet white baby Jesus is what get, is what's going to destroy a lot of our people, man. Mainly two thirds of them. Let's get let's get this one. Black Jesus ain't never want to pull his hair up from around his face, though. Now, what scripture is that? Now, you got a person right here. Know that the Lord is a so-called black man. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say that the Lord had no long ass hair hanging down his back, man. Get out of here, man. And then this is the last one. The message is beyond ludicrous. It sounds like he has an identity problem with himself. Samson had long hair, was told by God not to cut. And if he did, he would lose his power. He has no right to call someone a devil for having long hair. Some of these preachers shaking my head. But all y'all devils for going against the scriptures. Every single one of these commenters are damn devils. In the word devil just means deceiver. And, and I'm willing to bet you every single one of these dudes that commented got a goddamn bun in, in their hair hanging on their back. And again, nowhere in the scriptures are you going to see where the Lord, which the world eagerly calls Jesus, Yahweh Shai, had no long ass hair, man. But like I said again, it's that white Jesus picture. And then they going way back into the Old Testament, right, to use Samson and not reading up on what Samson's life was really about. You see what I'm saying? That word, like I said, Nazarite, it only came up nine times. And that was a real serious vow, man. That was a real serious vow. You were messing around when you was growing your hair out like that, man. You made that vow to you. How about Shimei? I was shy, man. Matter of fact, let's go back into it. But let's get this again. First Corinthians 11 and 14. 
Like I said, all the, all the dude had to do was Google it. All you had to do was Google and see where in the scriptures does it say that it's a shame for a man to have long hair. Because these were Greekish customs, man. Jake was into all kinds. That, that's why in Corinthians, and, and that's why I'm the Apostle Gabar, he said all the time, the, 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 the church of Corinth was one of the worst churches at the time, man. Because they were living by a lot of Greek customs, man. Had tattoos, looking crazy as hell. They was just coming out of eating all kinds of abominable foods. You know, the women, had, the women were teaching. The scriptures talks about the women not being able, not supposed to teach, but learning in silence. It, they, they was just disorderly, man. It was all kinds of disorder, man. But anyway, let me go back off into here real quick. Let's read a few of these Nazarite um, scriptures real quick. Just to get some understanding here. This is Numbers chapter 6, verse 2. Speaking to the children of Israel and say unto them, When either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of a Nazarite. So a man or a woman could, could, could um, do this vow. To separate themselves unto the Lord. See? This was a separation unto the Lord. Man, this was something real special back then. This wasn't like, nigga, I'm just, you know, I'm in the shower and, you know, I'm, I'm going over to my home. I'm, I'm going to the beautician and I'm just going to get my braids redone. No, I mean, the nigga wasn't no sh like that, man. Number six and 13. And this is the law of the Nazarite. When the days of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought into the door of the temple. Let's get this, man. Let's get all of this because it's going off into it anyway with, with some of them. And this is the law of the Nazarite. When the days of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So there's a time period for you to have this hair. This is not an ongoing damn thing, man. Here you go, got Jake out here. He done had the same damn hairdo for 20 years. You see these niggas with these nasty ass dreads. They about to come from his damn scalp, but it's still hanging down his back. It's barely hanging on to the nigga's scalp, man. <laughs> so like you, man. Number six, four, six and fourteen. And he shall offer his offering unto the Lord. So there's a there's an offering involved. This person has made a vow to the Lord, man. One he lamb of the first year without blemish for a burnt offering. Do any of these niggas running around here with a bun in their head got a lamb of the first year without blemish to offer to the Lord? Hell no, man. And one ewe, ewe lamb of the first year without blemish for a sin offering. Do any of these niggas got an ewe lamb? They hair hanging down their ass, man. Do they got an ewe lamb to offer to the Lord for a sin offering? Do they? Nope. And one ram. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> With, without blemish for peace offering. Man, you know, you know how hard it is for Jake these days to have any of those animals? Matter of fact, if you had any of these animals in your backyard in the cities that you live in, your ass could probably go to jail, man. The city won't even allow it. <laughs> it says, and a basket of unleavened bread, uh-oh, cakes of fine flour mingled with oil and wafers of unleavened bread anointed with oil and their meat offering and their drink offerings. You know, everybody wasn't doing this, man. This wasn't an everyday thing, man. This wasn't your every nigga on the block got cornrows and I'm going to get my hair braided up and, and I got these zigzags going through my shit. <laughs> no, man. Everybody, this was a serious, serious thing and you had to have money to, basically you had to, this is a wealthy type, well, not necessarily wealthy, but it's the name of three different animals. You got a basket of unleavened bread Cakes of fine flour mingled with oil, wafers to unleavened bread, anointed with oil, and their meat offering and the drink offering. And the priest shall bring them before Yahweh and shall offer his sin offering and his burnt offering. And he shall offer the ram for a sacrifice of peace offering unto Yahweh with the basket of unleavened bread. The priest shall offer also his meat offering and the drink offering. And the Nazarite shall shave the head of his separation at the door of the tabernacle, right? So now he's supposed to shave this shit off and then he's growing it back. But at that point, he's just going to keep a low haircut, basically, or, or low, a low um, um, cut, so to speak. 
This is only for the separation unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man for a certain amount of time. This is not like I'm telling you, <laughs> Jake man will find any type of way that they can to be a damn sinner, man. Then it's then you got Jake in the comments talking about Jesus had long hair with the white Jesus image, man. I'm, Oh boy, can you say uninformed, man? It says, and the Nazarite shall shave the head of his of his separation at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and shall take the hair of the head of his separation and put it in the fire which is under the sacrifice of the peace offering. Come on, man. Jake not doing none of this. Well, you mentioning Samson, nigga. And the priest shall <laughs> shall take the sodden shoulder of the ram. And one unleavened cake out of the basket and one unleavened wafer and shall put them upon the hands of the Nazarite after the hair of his separation is shaven. And the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before Yahweh. This is holy for the priest with the wave breast and heave shoulder. And after that, the Nazarite may drink wine. There you go. So he's not going to be drinking. He's going to be growing his hair. He's got to he's he's made this separation for an amount of time. He may have said, you know what? I'm going to, you know, make this vow to the Lord. How about me? I was shy from this year until next year or the next two years. When that time comes up, he's going to go and do all these things that the scriptures just said to do. Right now. What's going on with you? These. <laughs> <laughs> these Jake that's running through the hood, man, with these buns and these this hair hanging down their back, are any matter of fact, don't even none of them even know a Levite to even go and do any of this. They they don't even have a temple to even go to. So why are you mentioning um, um, Samson in the Nazarite vow and think because that's what it is. That's that's what Samson had. It was just that this was directly from the Lord. How about Shimei was shy? Samson was separated and consecrated to the Lord from birth, man. But he was a Nazarite. He wasn't, see, he just, you know, he kind of let the woman kind of, you know, slip him. He ended up telling what was up and, and they cut his hair. He didn't actually cut his hair. See, Samson, he, he didn't go through any of this process right here. He wasn't supposed to. Supposedly, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't supposed to have a razor put to his head. But you know what? Let me, um, was that all of the Nazarite Salakia? Because, like I said, it was nine verses. Let's see what else was it. Yeah, that was pretty much about it. Until it goes off into um, um, Samson and Judge, in, in the book of Judges. Verse 5, it says, For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head. For the child shall be a Nazarite unto Yahweh from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. Okay, so now let's go to... Chapter 16, let's see. Oh, let me get verse 7. But he said unto me, Behold, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and now drink no wine, no strong drink, neither eat any unclean thing, for the child shall be a Nazarite to God, Yahweh, from the womb to the day of his death. See, that was the Nazarite vow for Samson. Now, when was the last time the, uh, uh, the Lord told your mama and your daddy that you, your ass is going to grow up and never cut your hair because you was going to be the one to save Israel? You see, see, Jake wanted to want to use one person. He wanted just, you know what I'm saying? Th this is Jake's way of, 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 of basically. They do the same thing with eating pork. They you, you know, they, they'll come up with one script. Well, so, uh, well, Peter, he had this vision and the Lord said, rise, Peter, and eat. So they, they'll justify eating pork. They justify um, um, okay, but the woman being in the pulpit teaching. You know what I'm saying? What about Deborah? <laughs> Got all these excuses. But what about what the Lord is saying, man? What about the scriptures? What about what, what the scriptures actually says, man? Why don't you obey in the scriptures? Since you, you quoting shit, none, and, and none of these comments that was, uh, that was put in here, none of them got a scripture. None of them got a scripture. You see what I'm saying? And all of them was, was being damn de deceivers. What about Jesus and Samson? Come on, man. We just explained it, man. I mean, if you don't get it from there, what's so hard about having a low haircut, man? Why in the fuck do you got to have longer hair than your woman? 
It don't make no sense. But you see Jake. Jake be out here trying to look sexy. Jake want to look cute, man. Look, man, we coming to this truth, man. We not about all that. All that goddamn hairline. All that uh, 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 lining your beard up. Lining your hair up. Trying to look cute for these chicks and shit. Man, look, we ain't, man, we ain't thinking about none of that, man. We waiting on you. How about Shimmy was shy to, <laughs> to come back and make this move, man? And if the woman can't deal with it, who cares, man? Keep, keep, keep fucking kick rocks. Keep it moving. You ain't about to go out here and get no goddamn hair. And, and, and like I said, these, these camps, they be doing it. You see the, 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 the guys with the dreads, the side of his head shaved, with the beard lined up. Just all kinds of weirdo ass hairdos, man. But the apostle, he put out that decree like, hey, if you got hair longer than such and such, hey, and you want to keep it, you're not going to be a part of GMS. Go ahead and, and, and bounce, man. Go do your own thing, man. You see what I'm saying? So damn hard about you cutting your hair, man, and, and just doing one thing that the scriptures is saying, man. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on that. You know, a little bit of, I guess, guess we could have went a little further into it. But as you can see, hey, hey, roll off into it. Just check out the Nazarite vow. Check out the Nazarite vow. Because like I said, Paul, I probably should have um, got that as well. Uh, trying to think exactly where it's at. Okay, so lock you. It goes off into Paul's, um, you know, cutting his hair at, at a certain point in the book of Acts. But, I mean, that's another lesson. But you can see what it is, man. These dudes are just trying to say, hey, well, this is my reason for me having long hair. And none of them can quote a scripture. I bet you if you ask them what, what book um, um, does it speak about um, Samson in, they won't even be able to tell you that it's the book of Judges. I bet you that. I'm willing to bet you that. Well, what book, um, what book is Samson in? They won't be able to tell you. They couldn't give you a book, chapter, verse, none of that, man. But anyway, hey, if you got long hair, man, and you in this troop, hey, you, you got to cut it, man. This is what it is. Hey, listen to the Lord. Don't listen to these clowns. Don't listen to these, 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 these damn heathen that are coming up with all different types, types of ways to disobey you. How about Shimei was shot? Because they don't believe in them anyway. To live your life, do what you want to do. Get the hell out of here. That's not the way it works with the Lord. It, it, there comes stipulations, man, and discipline of yourself, your body, your mind, man. Certain things, man. You gotta you all that shit. That's why I say being reborn again. The stuff that you normally were used to doing. That's just like Jake could come up with a way where earth, where earth come from the earth. I can smoke weed. You know all this. Stuff. Like, come on, man. Just just stop it, man. <laughs> just stop it because you know rebellion as a matter of fact it goes off into that let's get that on real quick dude. I'll end out with this rebellion is witchcraft man because that's exactly what, what, what's going on it's witchcraft 1 Samuel 15 and 23 for rebellion and that's exactly what these people are doing they're rebelling against the word coming up with their own way for rebellion is the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. See that? That damn stubbornness. You can't just cut your hair, man. What's so wrong with you cutting your hair? Because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, he hath also rejected thee from being king. See? And that goes, you know, that's all the scriptures that, that, that Jake just want to just live their life and just do what they want to do. That's just like the average woman. They ain't trying to hear nothing about um, uh, their man having no extra wife. Are you serious? <laughs> Hell no. You know, but they're Israelites. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and but the, what did the scriptures say? The scriptures is legal for uh, for um, uh, uh, Israelite to have uh, multiple wives. But in these Americas, these these women, they got their heads wrapped. They saw a woman. <laughs> they got on their fringes. <laughs> they got the babies with the fringes on. You know what I'm saying? But let one of these Israelite men go out here and actually go, go get another wife. It's, it's far and few that would allow that, man. Because why? They're, they're going to rebel against the scriptures, man. For rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. See? And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. And this is what you're doing every single time you go against the scriptures, man. It's just that simple. Because... Thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh. He hath also rejected thee from being king. But this is the point, man. You, we, we get it. I just go, um, you know, I'm going to wrap up there. So 
I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, call me Shalom.